Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ray Zero Space and Kerbal Space Program 2. This morning on Twitch, I was watching the Starship Super Heavy launch attempt while streaming myself building a Starship Super Heavy. And the launch did not happen because they had a pressure valve get stuck, and so they had to turn it into wet rest rehearsal. But previously, when I had done the more realistic Starship Super Heavy and realism overhaul, somebody mentioned that there was a challenge for building a starship uh, and the primary goal was build a starship replica and fly it to orbit and there was a stretch jet level and battle level goals. I normally don't do the challenges because I'm quite self-motivated and come up with my own ideas. However, I did instantly when somebody mentioned the challenge come up with an interesting plan so I decided to go with it. I wanted to use the swivels and the the reliance in order to get the 33 engines on the first stage and of course you can't fit them on a five meter tank so you need to use the fairing to sort of make it look right and that's what I've done here. I just test launched the super heavy portion of it. It's stouter than it ought to be of course and that's because we're under fueling it already and it'll just be extra dry mass and have less thrust to weight ratio otherwise. It flipped out because we don't have any aerodynamic surfaces and unlike real life engines the swivels don't actually swivel that much so it was a little bit tough. I put the little chines on or as I like to call them strakes and even put the grid fins and here we have the starship on top that has three skippers as the vacuum engines and three swivels as the sea level engines on there and the first time we launched it it was still a little bit heavy I overloaded it with fuel and so it's not quite getting off the ground right it's going off to the side instead and so I'll have to underfuel it a little bit. But the grid fins are gonna create a whole lot of extra drag, of course, the way they are splayed out like that. I could put them edge on, but I decided to go with this and just deal with the issue. They'll act as brakes on the way down. We don't have any other brakes after all. I'm not going to do the super heavy return here. I was just trying to get to orbit and I had all sorts of problems. And the reason I had all sorts of problems was something I didn't realize that we'll get to in a sec, but first of all, it flipping out was a problem. Uh, here, I tried to switch to the Starship portion, but that didn't work out because my root part was still with Super Heavy. Both Starship and Super Heavy here have the largest control core embedded in them, and also the largest reaction wheel, just one of them though. So they do have those. And here I'm launching again, and this time the root part is in Starship, so I rerouted to the top controller and it still flipped out as, as we can see this is gonna continue to be a problem but I did check the staging could happen actually things worked out much better than I thought they would I, I mean I was totally expecting it to just explode and fall apart on the pad right I mean or some of the chines to fall off or the grid fins to fall off uh, it actually uh, worked out uh, positively uh, I mean it was it was my fault that it wasn't working well not exactly you see the issue is, and you could probably tell by the way that hit the water, the engines on the Starship are not producing thrust. They're being blocked by the fairing. And there are two fairing parts. There's one that's making the cone on top, and then there's one representing the body, and they're sort of smushed together at the joint. But the one that was, that's making the body of Starship is extended too low. And even though it seems open at the end, it's not really open at the end. It's, uh, it's acting to block the thrust of the engines. So I need to shift it up a little bit in order to solve that. It takes me a while to figure this out though, because I think it's just, I thought it was just flipping because of the fairings being really draggy, right? And here I put the, well, the lower starship fins on, and that obviously would just make things worse, but I wanted to see what would happen. Uh, but yeah, here I increased the size of the chines, and now it's looking a lot like Ariane 6 Pekka mentioned during the live stream, and yes, it sort of does, but uh, we'll reduce those after a while. I actually added the control surfaces to those as well. A little bit cheaty, but anyway, uh, this time we separated, ignited, uh, but it's still not under control uh, and but you can see from the velocity we're not getting any extra velocity I, I don't know why I didn't notice that earlier but 
Uh, I decided to try... I, I thought the issue was just controllability because the fairings were producing a lot of drag or something. That was my assumption, but it was a mistake. Well, the fairings were producing drag in a different way. They were stopping the thrust of the engines. But that's why I put vectors on the starship instead of the skippers because they would gimbal more. But that didn't help, obviously. And I decided to try vectors on the first stage because... Uh, Pekka, I think, pointed out that we could just completely fuel the first stage if we used vectors. I didn't want to do that because I like the idea of using the Reliance and the Swivels because they're sort of like the non-gimbling and gimbling versions of each other. At least that's how I always thought of them. So they are sort of a natural analog for the, for the Raptor engines, except they are sort of visibly gas generator engines. Uh, they have a gas generator exhaust, so they're open cycle, so... That, in that respect, they're not like that, but I mean, uh, just having a fixed one and a gimbling version uh, made me feel like that. The problem with using the vectors on the first stage was obviously that they gimbled too much, and also in this case, they produced too much thrust. I should have throttled down initially, so it caused too much stress for the whole rocket, and especially the joint between the Starship and the Super Heavy 4 proportion, which is actually an engine mount connected to a decoupler. So, I, I, I don't know if I had a separate decoupler or not. It's mainly the engine mount joint that's wiggling right now. But it didn't wiggle for any of the other attempts, and that was because we had a very low gimbling engine and very little thrust. So the thrust to weight ratio was mild. So yeah, this was a super spaghetti rocket. I was impressed by the engine mount joint, actually. It's really flexible. Um, it, it actually just sort of reminds me of a dragon. You can sort of imagine it like a dragon uh, weaving its way in midair. Yeah, it's sort of dragon-like in its way, except with the flames coming out the wrong end. But yeah, eventually I decided that we would try to land it. First I exhausted the Super Heavy, and then we separated, and so once I exhaust the Super Heavy, I'm still trying to use it here while trying to save as much as possible. In this case, the extra fins and chines fell off. Okay, after it gets exhausted, I go to the starship, but we don't really have enough time at that point anyway. So, yeah, uh, okay. Off it goes, we lose the remaining grid fins. And it's all destroyed, except I think one grid fin remained flying in midair. So at this point, uh, this is actually after the stream, I realized what the problem was. And so you see, you see I've raised the fairing on the starship so that the engines would be uncovered. And that does solve the problem. And I could probably reduce the size of the chines a little bit so they're a little bit more reasonable. I'll think about, this is the version without the vectors. This is back to the original version with the Reliance and the Swivels. And it's the version I like better. And I'll continue to try to do the challenges. Uh, so the primary goal was to build a Starship replica and fly it to orbit. And this video will at least have me getting it to orbit. It said nothing about a payload. And of course the OFT, the orbital flight test of Starship, doesn't have a payload either. So yeah, we've got the swivels back in this case because I like the swivels again too. And but I'll consider the whole layout and maybe we'll make some improvements. We'll definitely make some improvements. But the stretch goal was to build a Starship replica and land it on the moon. Jeb level was to fly a Starship replica to orbit and land it propulsively at one of KSC's four landing pads. And I decided to do a re-entry test while I was at it here. I tried to hold 60 degrees, but I hadn't even looked at the center mass and center lift for Starship independently because I wasn't thinking about getting to this point, I was just thinking about getting to orbit now. We did have the flippiness, but that didn't turn out to be because of aerodynamics, and I figured that we would have to deal with the aerodynamics separately because I wanted to make it look right. So the fins don't actuate in the right direction, incidentally. Here I'm trying to figure out if I can rebalance the fuel to get it to orient properly, but no, we don't have enough fuel, and it's already in the top tank. Uh, but. The top tank is actually the bigger tank because I wanted to move the center mass up as much as possible. But the fins don't actuate the right way because I wanted them to look right. And 
if you try to get them to actuate the right way, we can't shape the wings like that. So I decided to keep them like this, even though this is not the right direction for the actuation, because at least it'll look okay. So yeah, it's coming down. So and then there's Val level refuel a Starship replica at, replica at a fuel depot in low carbon orbit, land on Duna, and then return to KSC. No, technically the Starship mission plan would have to have it refuel at Duna on the surface or Mars. And they haven't given us ISRU parts, have they? Well, that ended up better than I thought. Well, we lost all the engines, though, and one fin. But uh, the fairings are actually pretty resilient here. Uh, they, they are quite physical until you decouple them. So, yeah, it's sort of a beached whale at this point. But this, this promise here, this potential... I thought up a whole bunch of other ideas of how to do Starship, like one with just a 5 meter body so that we could use the cargo bay, because right now I can't use the cargo bay, and then we can't carry any payload, but a 5 meter one could, but then you can't fit as many engines. Anyway, I'll have other methods, but for now, we'll leave it here, and I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.